Shadowed Battlegrounds presents Frostbite and Fury, The Legend of the Antarctic Yeti. In the heart of a relentless Antarctic whiteout, where the howl of the wind tears at the very soul, the USS Endurance found herself ensnared. Ice, like the grip of a great beast, held the vessel fast and the world turned a blinding white. Captain Erickson, a man whose features bore the brunt of many a storm, stared out at the frozen expanse. His crew, a hardy mix of sailors and marines, watched in silence, their breaths misting in the frigid air. The decision was made with a heavy heart. They would journey across the ice to the nearest base, a beacon of hope in the desolation. The crew gathered what provisions they could carry, their breaths forming clouds in the biting cold. They set forth into the white abyss, guided by the captain's unwavering resolve. The line between them blurred beneath the eternal Antarctic sun as days turned to nights and back again. Strange sounds began to punctuate the constant wind, unsettling the men. Shadows, moving just beyond the corner of their eyes, whispered of something ancient and malevolent. Lieutenant Harper, ever the skeptic, dismissed these tales, attributing them to the strain of their trek. Yet the unease grew. One harrowing night, their fears materialized. From the blizzard emerged a figure, large and indistinct, its eyes glowing with a preternatural hunger. The creature, swift and savage, descended upon them. The camp erupted into chaos. Screams were lost in the gale as the beast claimed its first victims. Captain Erickson, faced with the unimaginable, knew that their survival depended on cunning, not brute force. With a plan born of desperation, they used their flares and makeshift explosives not to fight, but to distract, to scare. They pressed on, each step a defiance against the shadow that hunted them. The journey became a test of wills. The creature, relentless. The crew, determined yet dwindling. They endured frostbite, exhaustion, and the terror of being hunted. Through sheer force of will, they neared their salvation, the research base a silhouette against the stark white. In their final moments of escape, the creature launched a ferocious assault. It was then that Captain Erickson, in a display of both bravery and cunning, lured the beast into a crevasse. With the creature in pursuit, he triggered an avalanche, burying it beneath tons of snow and ice. The survivors staggered into the base, their relief tempered by the loss of their comrades. Captain Erickson, his eyes reflecting a depth of sorrow and resolve, penned a warning in the base logbook, a testament to their ordeal. The captain looked out into the white void as the wind howled outside, a mournful lament for the fallen. The creature, entombed but perhaps not vanquished, lingered in his thoughts. The Antarctic, with its beauty and terror, held secrets mankind was not meant to know. And in that vast, untouched wilderness, the line between myth and reality blurred, leaving only the whispers of the ice to tell their tale.